In this clip, we explore and illustrate SDG 17, the one to rule them all in a sense, or rather perhaps the one to enable them all. The idea is that SDG 17 is meant to help in the implementation of all other SDGs 1 to 16. So here perhaps the first illustration is simply that this collaboration on making clips for the SDGs is in itself a partnership for the goals. It is a partnership, as you probably know by now, uh, between ISAE from uh, Curitiba, Brazil, Odensia from North France, Hanken from Helsinki in Finland, and Latrobe from Melbourne in Australia. But of course, beyond this, we also have in each of our individual contexts from these different business schools, we have different illustrations to offer you of partnerships we are engaged in. And in this clip, we are going to look into one that speaks to two targets. The first target being about north-south uh, capacity building, uh, and the second one about partnerships and effectiveness of partnerships more generally. So targets 179 and 1717. And this illustration will be provided to you by Patricia Guérin from Audencia, and she will talk about a partnership with French NGO uh, Planet Urgence and a scheme, a volunteering scheme that is called Solidarity Leave. Uh, and without further ado now, let's look at this illustration. Patricia, can you explain what means Solidarity Leave? What are the objectives? The opportunity I had to go on a Solidarity Leave comes from the partnership that Odensia Business School has with the French NGO Planet Urgence. The aim is for people to dedicate two weeks of their, of their yearly vacation to take part in a solidarity project somewhere in the world, especially to tighten links between South and North. These projects are coordinated by a local organization and can be based on social educational support to young children, on enhancing adult skills, or on the protection of the local biodiversity. As a volunteer, we are not expected to work instead of. It is a question of offering assistance and sharing knowledge for a project which is implemented by the people in their countries. Can you tell us more about the mission you had the mission I took part in in uh, 2017 in Guadeloupe was called Marine Turtle Monitoring at Spawning and Feeding Sites. It was done with a local association, which is called Evasion Tropicale. And the mission was divided into four main activities. So the first activity was spending nights on the beaches to identify the turtles that would come and lay eggs on the beach. The second activity was snorkeling in feeding sites for um, sea turtles to keep track of their numbers and characteristics. The third activity was uh, spending, uh, identifying sorry, the turtles from the pictures taken while snorkeling using a, a local database implemented by the local um, organization. And the fourth activity was informing people on the beach about the right behavior to have when they would spot sea turtles while swimming or snorkeling. What are the main takeaways you come back with? I, of course, learned a lot about the sea turtle's life. I knew nothing about before. But the most important thing is the satisfaction I have to have contributed to the protection of the biodiversity, which is so essential for the quality of life on Earth. We're all on the same boat, and no species is better or more worth living than the other. So the right balance has to be kept. So I was very, very happy to take part in this mission and I would gladly do it again if I had the opportunity. 